Okay, we're just gonna fill in the last one with no stars to two stars, because then maybe I get something, I don't know. Should I play as... Wow, it's not loading. <laughs> I broke the game! Oh, can load crash. There you go, wow. Some slight issues. Oh yeah, like they gave me some stupid Beanox colors for stuff. Yeah, I don't I don't want to dress as the Beanox version. Oh. This I haven't played as Crash yet and recorded it, which is weird because he's like the title, he's like the mascot of this whole thing. Also, I haven't used this, which I bought and didn't use, so. Yeah, let's have a look at the colours. It's wooden, it's green. Oh, that's the official colour, it's awful. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's pretty neat, I like that colour. Oh, that's really cool. Very. <laughs> Makes me think he's flying in a Spitfire with a New Zealand flag on. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's like the British green. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Just that shade of green, it makes you think of British racing green. It's not really though. Ah, uh, yeah. I really need to do the hard mode on these, but I'm just really lazy and really bad, so yeah. Mm. Yeah, there's a. Uh, there are a lot of good. Uh, uh, a lot of good crash skins in this game, like there's Aviator Crash, there's like Biker Crash, and they're really cool, but like it's so hard to get them, or like I just never see them in the pit stop and I'm kind of annoyed. So we're doing Space Cup today. I'm pretty sure I showed this. Pretty sure I tried to do this before for Peru and somehow managed to fail entirely. So we're gonna just like try and focus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because this is one of the last tracks they added into the game and like it's really like. I don't mind it, like it's an interesting enough theme, I guess. Yes, but like the big thing is that it's just the track is just very loopy. Oh shit, no 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 no. Why put a hole there? Is there a shortcut that I was not seeing? Shortcut here. Aha! That I went from 8th to 5th to 8th. They just flew past me. Oh! What the fuck? Let me, let me win! <laughs> I'm lazy and don't want to play the game at a high level. I'm having to slide, drift, boost everywhere. So if you don't know, uh, if you go through the gate first, you can choose between the pizza or the burger. And if you choose, I don't know, eat either one, it turns on different speedies in the track, and that's this track's kind of gimmick. The other gimmick being that it's just a giant track floating in space, with which I have to admit I always find in kart races in general means that you're often the least entertaining, because it's just, oh, it's just a floating track in space, and you really have to do a lot to draw people's path up at that. And there's like a lot of s scenery floating in the skybox around us, but like you're moving around the track so quickly that well, I can't tell you half of the shit that's floating around in space and what it is supposed to be. Because I'm not looking at that, I'm looking at the track and the track is just a generic metallic surface. Which kind of, yeah, doesn't, you know, really like... Yeah, you know, if I was gonna rate this track, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Like, I don't know. Just feels a bit like, oh wow, that was just, just fell off. 
Also, yeah, you can fall off a lot because it's got a lot of like lumps and loops and like. Ow. Just got suicide bombed by a TNT guy. I forgot that was even a thing. Come on, man, I can't be seventh. I'm supposed to be winning this. Oh, well, that was dumb. I should have fought it forwards. Oh, well, there we go. Fifth to fifth. Uh, I got at least podium to give myself a competent base to work off of. Because, yeah, the, the less experience I have on a track, the worse I am, obviously. So, like, I can, like, do all of the original Crash Bandicoot TTR tracks at hard level, and it's okay, but like once it's the bonus tracks, which I've only played five times or something like that, or 20 times maximum, I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, uh, where am I going? I don't know any of the shortcuts. They're really big and wide and they're designed differently. And I'm really bad, so case in point. Now, we will be going to tracks I think I have a little more experience with because if they're Nitro Kart or like the original game, I I kind of know more about them. So like, and I've done them way too many times because I had a weird childhood man. <laughs> oh geez, these load times. Oh yeah, it's this one where it's just nothing but straights. Well, okay. It shouldn't be too hard. Now there is that weird shortcut that I keep looking at and thinking, should I like, be going down there? Is it actually faster? If I feel confident enough. Bomb. Oh, bad angle. Bad angle? Uh. <laughs> yeah, there's a. Down on the left here, there's a secret passage shortcut that may not be actually a shortcut and just a split path and I'm always like is it better to go that way because the AI never goes that way so AI like it's very hard to predict the AI if it's better because of the AI's pathing right because sometimes the AI will never take shortcuts and then also sometimes the AI will always take the optimal route that's not labelled as a shortcut, so it's like, it could be just a bad route or it could be a shortcut. <laughs> always smash boxes even if you have a power-up being selected because then it just blocks the people behind you from getting a power up and fucking you over later. Which is, you know, kind of a dick move on your behalf, but it's like, yeah, well, I, oh, oh, I want, kind of want to, uh, uh, maybe if I jump, no. Oh, it's down there, man, I can't see it. I don't want to like become 8th, it's kind of like I want to actually win this tournament, so I'm scared to experiment with things like Beanox boxes and things on screen and be like, yo, 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 it's a shortcut, so I need to do more off-screen track labbing, which is a little bit extreme for this game. Just kind of do it for casual funsies after all. You know what's annoying? I fairly recently, uh, fairly recently beat a track with Dingadar. I beat a tournament with Dingadar on hard mode, and then for some reason I forgot. I either forgot to record it or it didn't record. So uh, yeah, that's kind of sucky. Ugh, I, I chickened out. Okay, I just uh. Yeah, like that was way too late. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's annoying. Because it was real clutch as well. Oh, how did that not hit me? Whoa. Just hit it on the tail end. For a fun, this this is the final track of like CNK, obviously, and. Uh, 
I have to say, for a final track, it's one of the least boring. At least Oxide Station is like a hell of a track, you know what I mean? Like, it's a good track. It's a, it's one of my favorite tracks. Well, one of my favorite? Is it just nostalgia? I like that track. It's a good track. This track is just, you can see on the map, it's just straight, like, straight paths with teleporters at the end, and it's just a bit like, oh. You know. Okay. Bit, bit disappointing. But okay, I'm at the top of the standings by two points. I've got to keep this lead for two more tracks and we'll be fine. <laughs> and then I'll at least have everything at silver star level. I don't even know if I get anything from this. I'm just doing it for lols, so yeah. Oh man. Yeah, like I feel like they made it way more difficult on this. Uh, like when I was, uh, or I've just gotten really bad at these kind of games. When I played CTR originally, I felt like I could do all the cups to gold star level no problem. And now I can still kind of do the original CTR tracks just if I try really hard. But everything else I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I losing? Why am I losing? I'm dying, I'm dying. Ah, I'm getting killed. I'm eighth, I'm eighth <laughs> for everything, zero points. Also, the point system is real harsh. It's like if you're not, if you're fourth, you get one point. Anything below fourth, and you might as well have just been eight. What kind of shit is that? You should do it on total time, like a rally race. You should do that. <laughs> not for a car racer. I'm better on the CTR tracks, I say, stuck in four. Yeah, it's just juice up. Oh yeah, by the way, they kind of leave this as like a sub mechanic and only talk about it a little bit in hints and tips and you don't really see much of a visual, in visual like thing aside from weapons and stuff and it being shiny. But actually, having 10 Wumpa Fruits makes your cart go faster, which means if you keep getting fucking pwned by the AI at the uh, hardcore level, and they literally just try and murder your ass every time you get near them, uh, you're actually slower because uh, you keep losing Wumpa Fruit, and you need 10 Wumpa Fruit to be at like the best speed, the optimum speed, so keep that in mind, because that's really fucking annoying. Because when you're, you know, I think that's always been a thing, I think that was a thing in the PS1 version, but like, no one ever talks about it, because they're always focusing on like, oh yeah, it makes the weapons better, like now it's a nitro, but like, you really need it because it just adds speed to your boost and stuff, and you just, yeah. So, if the AI is too incompetent of a level and low difficulty level, you'll always have 10 Wumpa through, which makes it really easy to beat them. But, like, let me tell you, every time I've tried hard, you go slightly near uh, AI player when it's hard, and they automatically have the weapon that they can target with you with the easiest. If you get into first, they will clock and or orb you with the blue the blue shell equivalent in this game. And like every time I've got into first place, I've immediately been tar targeted by two missiles and a blue orb, so <laughs> they don't fucking care. They don't play around in hard mode. And you'll notice that it really starts to slant your uh, probabilities of getting certain things at, depending on your position. Like when you're in first, you will just get potions basically and nitros, which you you think makes sense, but it's like it's it's a bit annoying because <laughs> then it's like you've got very little to defend yourself. You don't get shields very often, and. Uh, 
You really want to get shields as much as you can in the high level to stop the blue orbs from wrecking your life. Uh, the warp thing. Like this. For some reason, this cart makes a weird wobbling laughter sound when it's going around corners. Goes whoa, whoa, whoa. That noise? I don't know what it is. Yeah. Protagonist plot armor, I'm winning. Ah. I'm hitting my own potions. The AI has taken control and is just driving me into the potions. Okay, so I'm now 21. And the next person's 12. So that means um, I should be pretty safe in theory. This thing plus nine. Oh yeah, I, I might be tied for first if someone else gets first place next time and I don't get any points at all, so I better not risk it. What's the last one? Oh yeah, it's a pretty easy track the next one. It's Electron Avenue. This one is from CNK, and it's just a very bare bones and basic track with only a few gimmicks to it. The gimmick of this track is you can turn on different speedies and like the engine speedy tunnel in engine labs, it's just always gonna put you in constant boost and then the rest is just do go around the corners, do the jumps and there's a few zappy things in the way and that's, that's what you have to worry about. So yeah, you know, these thingies are basically this area's gimmick, and it's just stay on the speedy, and then just drift to the next speedy. It's a pretty high speed track, because you've got constant corners like this one, uh, a lot of boost pads, a lot of jumps, and you, you can just be doing tricks the whole time to make sure that you're constantly boosting and like the track is really wide, giving you a lot of drifting space, but it that means that like that because there's almost, I don't think there's any bottlenecks really in this track, leaving things like leaving drops for other people to hit is just like they can easily go around most things unless they're really dumb AI so you know giving leet tips oh cool actually gave me something that wasn't a nitro crate or a potion in first Like, I like this car, but it's weird noises are kind of freaking me out. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Yeah. The timing threw me off there with the zappers. Yeah, if you hold R1 after doing a trick jump, you'll just immediately go into slide upon making contact with the ground, so that's good if you're landing on a corner. This track and engine labs, you will do a jump sometimes and land on a basically a right angle corner or a gentle turn, which means you might as well just hold on to the R1 and then start going straight into a sick drift. <laughs> it's all about doing them sick drifts with the boost. And like, the longer you keep chaining those drifts, the longer the speedy drift will stay on you as well, which actually means you're going faster. There's several stages of drift in this game. There's a lot of tech. Uh, several stages of boost, I should say. Like, the small flame, like that one. That flame from a speedy, which is like... And then there's like a blue flame, like this one. Oh, good timing on these. And like, the difference is... And like it, like <laughs> you can see here, it just makes you go faster. It's kind of obvious which makes you go faster. Bigger the flame, faster you go. Yada yada yada. Um, now I'm gonna fuck up again. Now, damn it. So yeah, pay attention to that. Basically, you, sh you want your exhaust pipe on fire all of the time. 
preferably if you could manage it. Oh, I fucked up. You could just, like, constantly... Constantly, uh... Keep it in the blue fire thing, but the moment you touch a wall, you lose all your boosts. So, you know... You gotta pay attention to that, and it will run out over time if you don't keep feeding it, basically. So you need to be... You need to continually drift, but it makes it harder and harder to drift. It makes it harder and harder to drift in a tight circle the moment you get the blue boost, so, you know, the white-blue exhaust boost, so, yeah, you know, <clears throat> it wants you to go fast all the time, but then it wants you to go fast around the corner, where it's like, if I go normal speed around the corner, I will hit the wall, even if I'm drifting, so, like that, because <laughs> I always fuck up and try and jump it. See, it's just like, it's very hard to drift around that corner. If, with a handling character it might work, but... And that's what happens if you hold on to it without boosting. If you hold on to drift and then... Ah, I finally worked out the basics. If you hold on to the drift button and don't do anything, you'll spin out. So just, yeah. I'm gonna just teach you all the tech. Isn't it weird that there's a certain era of party game, by the way, where it was just like, if you don't know all the secret shit, you're basically always gonna lose the game, and the guy who owns the game knows all this shit and will not tell you. It's like when your big brother says, hey man, come and play this game with me, and he knows all the shortcuts, he knows all the tricks to make sure he's always faster than you, and you're sat there like, well how the fuck am I supposed to beat him? This is a really bad example, most kart racers are. But also, if you've ever played Rayman M, you can't even beat the basic AI on Rayman M without knowing all of the secret shit, which is just basically mashing triangle, which is the like recovery button and the speedy button, every time you hit a speed boost or every time you get hit by something that stuns you, which is just... That is never explained to you. <laughs> So yeah, I win. <laughs>